So, I was originally planning on grabbing a whole load of data and doing a fair amount of background research and maths as to the exact numbers of this, but that would have taken me an insane amount of time, and given that my Sunday, the day I'd normally record today's video on, ended up being full of a friend of mine's car getting stuck in the car park at the place where I live and not being able to leave the house, we ended up doing other things, and he ended up not being able to move his car until 5 o'clock this morning. So he ended up staying at my place for a bit and we didn't really have, well, I didn't really have time to work on a video. Because obviously I had to entertain a guest and I couldn't sit at my PC crunching numbers for a couple of hours. But I want to make this video about the decline of esports. Now, a lot of people will go against this and say that esports are growing and getting bigger and bigger. But at least the big esports games, your League of Legends, your Counter-Strike, heck, even your Halo, are seeing viewer number decreases as time goes on. I'll take the LCS as the main example, the League of Legends Championship Series. Back when I used to watch it, Season 4, Season 5, it would get around 100,000 odd viewers on Twitch. Now this isn't 100% accurate, it may have been more, it may have been slightly less, but it was always around 100,000. And I checked the other day, and the LCS, at least the EU one, I didn't get to check the NA one because it's on a different day, but the EU one, which would normally get around the same viewership, if not slightly more, was only hitting about 20,000 viewers. For the same point in a series as where it would have been three years ago, when it had... 100,000 viewers. Now, this may well have been a fluke for one day or whatever, I didn't get a chance to grab a lot of data on this and there doesn't seem to be a great deal of data publicly available from Riot or Twitch or anyone like that who, that I can get hold of to actually check the numbers. But it seems a little odd that the viewership is down so far. My second point is the Counter-Strike Major situation. The MLG Major at the start of this year did incredibly well. It had insane levels of viewership. But, due to the recent CSGO scandals that have been going on, and just sort of the esports decline in general, less than half of the viewers of the Columbus Major watched the recent Cologne Major. That's an insane amount of people. The Grand Final had less than half of the viewers of a major that happened three months before it. Now, if you couple this with the dwindling player base of Counter-Strike, I'm not going to say it's a low population by any means, there's still millions of people playing it, but the population isn't as big or strong as it used to be, then it sort of, at least in my mind, brings the idea that esports is not doing as well as people would like it to. And companies trying to force esports on games are not going to do as well as I think they hope. They're not going to get a return on their immense investment. Because, I mean, stage crews, lighting, venues, you know, technicians, all that sort of stuff costs a fortune. Organizing an esport event costs hundreds of thousands, if not millions of pounds or dollars or yen or whatever. And... I don't think that the, for example, the HCS, the 6,000 view account, is really going to cut it. Because, I mean, people don't subscribe to the channel, so they don't make money that way. People don't... There's no ads on the channel, from what I've seen. Or people use ad block, and then they don't get ads. And it's just a bit of a problem, because I don't see any source for them to make their money back other than selling tickets to the live events, which they don't do for the Pro League. So, in my eyes, as much as it can be seen as a way to try and gain some community sort of applause, it doesn't make a great deal of sense from a business point of things, which is obviously where Microsoft see the Halo franchise, because the Rec Pack system is there f from a strictly business perspective. It's there to make them money. And I'm going to talk about this in another video, but I'm a lot more certain now than I was that it is Microsoft that are getting developers to implement these rec systems. 
because Gears of War has the same system. It is almost, and I say almost because there are a few tweaks that make it a little less disgusting, but it is almost identical to the Halo Rec system. Almost identical. Now they've added a sort of Hearthstone card crafting style jobby, which means that you can get, as they say, almost any card in the game through that system. But the amount of grinding for that will probably be insane. I was looking forward to buying Gears of War 4, and the microtransaction system has completely put me off. I don't want to buy the game now. In fact, I cancelled my pre-order. Because why on earth would I buy a game that is going in the same direction that Halo 5 did, and Halo 5 at launch was definitely not worth the money I paid for it. Anyway, I'm going to save all that for another video. Thank you very much for watching. My name's been Classy Ham. If you enjoyed this, please don't forget to leave a like or a comment. And remember, stay classy.